since you guys love to use the term duck so much, I got a question for y'all. Will Stephen Fulton duck Nayoa the monster Inoue? And if the fight doesn't happen, will you guys label him as a duck? Blessed love and blessed day, oh boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fight nation. It's Coach Fire and this is Real Life Boxing. Before we get into the video, best double jab straight down the pipe. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when all new content is being uploaded on the channel of Real Life Boxing. Put the left hook behind it and share the video, please and thank you. Recently, Naoa, the monster Inoue, became the undisputed bantamweight title holder that's 118 pounds and he immediately petitioned with the WBO to be able to if he was to move up to 122 pounds he immediately petitioned with the WBO that he can be the mandatory for Stephen Coolboy Steph Fulton now Stephen Fulton he has been reportedly in the past you know what I'm saying he has been um, talking about becoming undisputed at 122 pounds. He said that's what he would like to do. He's not there to BS. This is all um, public record. You can go and look this stuff up. You know what I'm saying? Many interviews with Stephen Fulton saying he wants to be undisputed at 122 pounds. Well, what we have now is Naoa the Monster Inoue coming up to 122 pounds. Naoa is um 24 and 0 with 21 KOs. He is 29 years of age, 5 foot 5, 67 and a half inch reach. Recently beat up on Paul Butler, um almost damn near killed Nonito Denier and um Ario the I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Um cool boy Steph um is 21 and 0 with 8 KOs. So the monster has um the same amount of KOs that Stephen Fulton has fights. Stephen Fulton is 21 and 0, um, no draws, eight wins by KO. He's 28 years of age, so the monster is one year older. He's five six and a half, so he's an inch and a half taller than Naoa Inoue, and he has a 70 and a half inch reach. So he has um, three inches of reach on um, Naoa Inoue. And his recent, his three most recent fights was Daniel Roman. Um, unanimous decision Brandon Figueroa majority decision and I think he lifted one of those belts off of Brandon Figueroa and Angelo Leo so Steph Fulton is the WBC and WBO 122 pound um, world champion and Naoa Inoue is undisputed at 118 pounds so like I said Naoa Inoue petitioned to be able to become um, Steph Fulton's mandatory but now recently Steph Fulton has been rumored to be wanting to go up to 126 pounds to fight Brendan Figueroa. Brendan Figueroa, again, Stephen Fulton beat Brendan Figueroa in a majority decision. A lot of people felt like Brendan Figueroa won the fight. I felt like Stephen Fulton um, won the fight. Close fight, good fight, but I felt like Stephen Fulton did the better, um, cleaner work, more clean, effective punches um, throughout. So I gave Fulton the nod. Brandon Figueroa since moved up in weight to 126 pounds and is doing his thing. Now, Steph Fulton, he wants to go up to 126 and fight Brandon Figueroa for whatever reason. And then he said he wants to come back down to 122 and then resume business there. Now, we know in boxing that when you go up in weight class and then try to come back down, it doesn't always um, work out, you know, like, like in a positive way. Um, situation we've seen it happen with Roy Jones when he went all the way up to heavyweight came back down and was just never um, the same fighter you know what I'm saying we've seen Carnelo Alvarez um, bounce all over the weight classes over the past few years we've seen him um, peak and now looks like he's on the decline so I'm just saying you know what I'm saying it's not uh, over the history um, in boxing you know when you move up try to come back down move up try to come back down it's just not good for the body so i say that to say this um if stephen fulton decides to move up to 126 and fight brendan figueroa and not take the naoa inoue fight because naoa inoue um they've been talking about this fight for a long time the boxing world has been talking about this fight for a long time now naoa inoue coming up to 122 to fight um cool boy steph because apparently a lot of people 
you know, who are black fight fans or just U.S. fight fans, they don't know about Naoi Inoue. They don't know how good he is. They think he's a hype job. So they say, okay, come up to 122 and fight Cool Boy Steph and we're going to see how good you are. Um, but now, Cool Boy Steph, um, he wants to go up to 126. Hey, Naoi Inoue said... If you guys are going to label anybody a duck in the situation, it's not going to be me. Immediately after becoming undisputed, he petitioned to become Stephen Fulton's mandatory. He said, I want to go up in weight class and I want to challenge the best. I've never fought a black American fighter and it will be very um, interesting. He wants to challenge himself um, in that way. So we'll see if Cool Boy Steph obliges him. But my question for the fans is... For the PBC fanboys, this my question for y'all is, since you guys love to use the term duck so much, if Stephen Fulton does not take this fight with Naoya Inoue, will you guys call him a duck? Put it in the comment section right now, please and thank you. Another thing that I have to say to, you know, American fight fans, um, it's no problem if you're Amer if you're just an American fight fan if you just if you just focus on the fights that are going on in America and not around the world that's fine if that's your preference um that's fine but you can't discredit the fighters that you don't know about you know what I'm saying so if you don't watch and I heard somebody I was watching a panel yesterday shout out to Box and Wave my guy shout out to Box and Wave I was watching a panel yesterday where they began to talk about elite fighters. And a guy on the panel said that um, Chocolatito was not elite because the first time that he watched Chocolatito fight, he seen him get sparked by um, by Sor Sor Sorongasai or whatever his name is. So um, he said that Chocolatito was not elite. So this, this is what I have to say about that. And this is why if you don't watch boxing from around the world and if you just want to watch usa boxing that's fine but if that's the case you cannot be caught dead coming out of your mouth saying that chocolatito is not an elite fighter you cannot be caught dead again if you're a fan of certain styles you know what I'm saying? Whatever have you. I'm a fan of certain styles over certain styles. But that doesn't mean that somebody else's style is not elite. If you are not a, a worldwide boxing fan, if you just want to focus on American fighters and all of that, that's all cool and dandy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's entitled to their opinion. But you cannot be caught dead. And I repeat, do not be caught dead. Don't make yourself look like a fool. Right? under appreciating the fighters from around the world that are good fighters chocolatito is absolutely an elite fighter absolutely an elite fighter and so is sarung Vasai. that's why he was able to knock chocolatito out chocolatito was absolutely an elite fighter that's like saying that manny wasn't an elite fighter because the first time you see manny pacquiao fight he got sparked by um marquez those are, are both elite fighters I don't know what you guys what you guys want to see these fighters do for them to be deemed as elite but my brother Chocolatito is absolutely an elite fighter and if you think that he's not you certainly just haven't watched enough boxing so like I say to people all the time when they come to me and they say oh I never seen this I never seen that you just need to watch more boxing you know what I'm saying I put up a short of of uh, Tommy Hearns and Marvelous Marvin Hagler and the most comments underneath it is boxing is not like this nowadays we don't get these two these type of fights oh we certainly do you just don't watch enough boxing I agree that we don't get those type of fights amongst the elite fighters we don't get enough of those type of fights amongst elite fighters but we absolutely absolutely do get great fights nowadays you just gotta watch more boxing and there absolutely is great fighters from outside of the united states i'm a u.s guy you know what i'm saying and i obviously focus on u.s boxing more this is where i'm at but i don't leave out the rest of the world i don't leave out the furies and the usics and the neo inues and the chocolatitos oh no and the saring you know and i'm saying check my record and you see me covering these fights i woke up at five six o'clock in the morning to cover neo inue versus nonito denier both times you know what i'm saying so you guys be smarter about when you talk in boxing 
know what I'm saying? Especially with whom you're talking boxing about. If you're just talking about boxing with somebody like you who just covers, who y'all just know about Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford and Deontay Wilder and Tank, then that's fine to keep it on that level. But when you're talking about somebody who covers boxing all around the world, uh, you got to be careful with the things that you say. Again, will... Um, will you guys label Cool Boy Steph as a duck if he does not fight Naoya the Monster Inoue? You guys let me know in the comment section. Until then, keep fighting your fight and protect yourself at all times. Peace and one love is Coach Fire. This is Real Life Boxing.